hello. I just pulled up to the barn. It's show weekend, so I am trailering 10 out to Irish Fox this weekend. I was going to take Zeke, but I will get into that in a minute. I am getting out to hook up the trailer. So, I'm doing that right now. jumping amazing he was having so much fun she was like why don't you just take 10 because you were just kind of taking Zeke for for fun but if 10's jumping this amazing then why don't we just take him and I was like well, sounds like a good plan so that's what I'm doing so taking him of course <laughs> He hasn't had a case of uveitis since before June at the uh, Queenie Park show, or the Queenie Park horse trials where I had to not take him, but it flared up yesterday. So I'll show you what his eye looks like. I called the vet and he was like, you should be fine. Um, just because I put medication in his eye once a week for it, um, but I think he had, when he had that summer sore on his leg, it made his eye flare up. So that's kind of my, my guess. So we've got antibiotics, we've got SMZs to give him and Butte. And the vet told me to put the medication in his eye every day, once a day until it clears up and then go back to once a week. So that's what I'm gonna do, but he said he should be fine. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. If it ends up making him like super nervous or if he's like refusing things or whatever, then see how he does when we school today. But worst case, I'll just either drive out and pick up Renita or something or I'll just leave the show early. So I'll probably end up just leaving the show early more than likely is probably what will happen, but you never know. So anyways, um, that's the plan. So I've got him loaded. It's about a 50 minute drive to the NEC. So I will see you guys when we get to the NEC. Poor baby. Aww. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's got. I know his uvitis flared up. so we can do what we need. Now canter. And follow and keep your eye on the jump. And that worked out really well on the five, huh? So handsome. You ready for a bath? And you ready for a bath? Yeah. Poor eye. You are so good, though, huh? So good. Would you like some peppermint? You smile. 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 You're so handsome. Smile. Smile. He's so good. Nice. Where do you think you're going?
mark yourself? Nothing in there? <laughs> yes, I'm filming you. I'm filming you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, you're not homeless. You don't have to dig through the trash. Handsome, you're so handsome. Are you gonna be a slot? <laughs> Don't shake it off, you goof. You're so
you videoing no. me? No, because I can't. I can't go. I can't go anymore in two percent. You're already too too big. I'm what? I put it on two so that I can, you know. So this was basically just a warm-up round. We wanted to just get him into the ring. Um, so this was a .75 warm-up round. You can see Spooked at the box there. And then 
I kind of just forgot where I was going, <laughs> to be honest. So the first jump was the one that I was going to, and then I was like, is that is that right? And then I was like, mm, let's pretend like we know what we're doing, <laughs> even though I had no idea where I was going. Then I was like, nope, that's right, so we'll go around. So I just basically took him on a tour of the ring. So this was the first jump. It was honestly just a hot mess, but you know what? I got it done, and I got it out of the way. So then we came back around to this little vertical here and got a pretty good distance to there. He decided he wanted to play a little bit in this little corner. And so then we come to this two stride and I thought he was gonna jump there. So yeah, that line was just a mess. I totally misjudged it and wrote it horribly and then he got mad at me, so that's okay. So then we come up through this diagonal line and you're supposed to go around to this end jump. But again, Kelsey had no idea where she was going. So at this point I was like, thought I knew where I was going. And then right about here is where I was like, crap. And then we went off course, but that's all right. <laughs> so it was just a warm up, just to get him in the ring. But now we have the 0 .85, 0 .95 class. And I got the course right, so that was great. So first jump was really good. I took a little bit of a wider turn um, coming through to this vertical here. Got a good distance there. Went around the outside. So I wasn't really taking, you know, aggressive turns. I think we ended up getting third in this class, which was really awesome. But um, then come around and come up the diagonal line. I was essentially just playing it safe. And I think we ended up, no, I don't know if that was the one we got five strides in, but it was a four stride. And then we ended on this fence. And he was so good. And he's like, yeah, I'm so good. Look at me. Had a couple little bucks and a little hops. Did his little celebratory, I'm a good boy. And yeah, so we got third in that class. I, I really enjoyed that round. Um, this was the jump off round or the 0.85 class with the jump off so this is the round which we went clear in so you come up over this oxer first i did take the inside turn on this one got up to this pushed a little bit to get the four landed took a pretty wide turn but again i was just trying to make sure it was quiet and together to where we didn't have any rails so we could go to the jump off and so then we come back around to this vertical jump that really nice ask for the change and then you got super excited about the change and then you come up and this is the last fence there so i really really liked that round um when it comes to the jump off rounds or the classes that have a jump off I tend to play it pretty safe so I don't end up not being able to get to the jump off so now this is our jump off I tried to take it a little bit quicker I think our time was like 27 seconds and some change or something like that um, but you did roll back to roll back and then back over here to roll back so he kind of lost his footing just a little bit and then didn't realize we were going up to that one so he kind of had a little weird distance, but that's okay. And then end on this fence here and pushed him towards the, the timer. So he was really, really proud of himself and we actually won that class. So I was very, very happy with him. He was such a good boy. Very good. He's so cute. And then I'm not 100% sure what class this was, to be honest. The speed round for 202, 10 guitars. Kelsey Cole is yeah, the no, writer. I have no idea. But it looked like it was another 0. 0.5, 8595 8, class. So maybe that first class was 75. Course number 202, 10 guitars. Oh, that first one we did was a warm up. So this is the actual 85 class. That's why. Okay. So this is the class that we ended up getting third in. But we did take a little bit of a, a tighter turn coming in and you can see the footing is not ideal so he kind of 
get some some skids around there but he was so good so that first one was the warm-up and then this one was the actual 85 class because i wanted to do a warm-up after i failed in the first one Final trip on course before we set for the 2 6 portion of our next derby. Just a heads up, riders, uh, we will do the same thing that we did for the mini derby. You can stay and do your handy rounds, we'll do the other rotations. So you can do first trip and your handy round.
So this was on Sunday. So this was the last day oh, of the yeah. show. There as you can see, we are in a onesie. And I dressed him up as a sloth. You could wear costumes. And they had like costume contests and stuff. But this was the 0.75 round we did as a warm-up. Um, so it was just the speed class. So this one, just wanted to get him back in the ring just to do something in there. He jumped that really, really nice. Got a little skiddy on the footing down there, but came back really nicely. As for the change, and he gave it and then got really excited. Got a little much, little too much momentum going into this uh, diagonal line, but he um, ended up just clipping that last one with his back feet. So we didn't place in this class, but I wasn't really upset about it at all because I, it was just a warm, warm up round for me. So just to get him in there to see the jumps which he obviously saw him yesterday. So we really didn't need to do it, but just to get his, his brain in the mode. So then this was the jumper classic. So this one, we ended up getting second place and winning 75 bucks. A little questionable distance there, but he's so quick on his feet that he ended up getting us, getting us out of it really nice. And again, just kind of trying to take this one a little bit more conservative just so that way we don't have any rails. He got a little speedy through that turn and kind of skidded around and couldn't quite find his distance and then thought he was gonna jump that one, so I had to pull him up. And then this was the last fence here. So really proud of him. Um, and then this next clip is our jump off from the Jumper Classic. So we ended up shaving off two seconds from our time in the class the day before because this class was the same as the table one class for the jumpers um so tried to get him to get into that turn a little bit um the footing in here is not ideal to be honest and i usually don't like doing jumpers in this arena but um it's better than than what it used to be so um this one I thought he was going to add, and he totally left me behind, So, because he always adds, and then I usually end up getting in front of him. So, anyway, here's him eating a cupcake. He doesn't want to try. This is ridiculous. He can't decide if he wants to try it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy? No? Do you not want it? Okay. Ew. You're gonna... I know. That's kind of gross, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he just rubbed his... Ew. Snotty face on it. Put all of it in his Oh, whiskey. there you go. He's like, oh, she ate it, so it's okay. <laughs> You're the king's taste tester. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, hmm. I mean, it's got sugar in it. Hey, Allison, check that trunk. <laughs> Please. You want it? <laughs> okay, he has the idea. So, this is our. 0.8595 class so this was just a speed round and they kept the courses the same as the day before pretty much so this class I think we got second in yeah we got second in this class so I picked up the canner and I decided to take a little bit of a different approach um, so I could kind of come at this one at a little bit of an angle so I can get a better turn coming through these two jumps, which it ended up working out really, really nicely for me. And up to this vertical, added a little step there. And then into the in and out, little two stride, jumped that really beautifully. Got his change in the front, but didn't get it in behind until right there. Little deep to that, ended up adding a stride here and got a five. So that took off some time from us. Otherwise, I feel like we probably would have won the class. And then a little crossfire there and ended on a really good note on that class. So he decided to move him up at the end of this show. So this is the meter to meter 10 class and probably our best round of the day. 
So come through that one. So it's the same course as I just did. The jumps just got bigger. I feel like all of our distances got better through this class. Got a little deep there, but pushed to get the nice distance for um, that two stride. Got his change, decided to play a little bit. Really nice jump there. Got the four. And then a little deep to that one. But after we got out of it, I just kind of let him go. Jumped that really nice. And he was so <laughs> proud of himself. <laughs> he had so much fun. I'm so proud of him. He was so, so, so good. What are you doing? Oh my god, Ten. Seriously? Seriously? Oh, that's so cute. They're grooming each other. Oh. <laughs> They're so cute. Hi, Zikos. Hi. I got this boy's vibe on. Does that feel good? Oh, he's still got that cough. It's worse. I'm so glad I didn't take him to the show. So, I'm just wondering if I need to call the emergency vet or if it can wait until the vet comes out next week. But, poor guy. I'm sorry. Yeah, poor baby. So, I didn't film like an outro because it was just so busy. It's Monday morning. Um, the show went amazing. Ten was phenomenal. He was so good. He was having so much fun, as you saw in a lot of the clips. He had lots of celebrations, and he just, he was so good. On Saturday night, I was getting ready to leave. I had put the massage blanket on him. Once that finished, I was going to wrap his legs with the quick wraps. Um, the back on track ones are super easy. Those are usually what I use. My friend Becky was there with me. We were actually going to go get Mexican and get a margarita. And so she was just waiting on me to get done. So went into his stall. He was eating hay. And I put the first one on and I was talking to her. And then I went to go put the back one on and she had started to walk towards in, like in front of his stall and he went to go like lift his head and turn his head to look at her and it was out of that left eye and he i guess i don't know if he didn't see the water bucket but his head got caught underneath the water bucket and he shot backwards and i was obviously down putting the wraps on his legs and he backed up so quickly and essentially launched me into the stall wall head first. At first, I thought I broke my neck because I heard a bunch of cracks and then I just like was like stunned almost because I, out of every fall I've ever had, I've never hit something with that much impact before. Like he straight up yeeted me into the wall and my face was like bright red and the blood was coming to the surface. You can't really tell, but um, there's a large lump right here and then here. It's a little black and blue right there and then here. So I kind of didn't move. Like I just stayed there because I was kind of in shock on, on what happened. And I was kind of, it was like running through my head. I was like, okay, are you, are you bleeding? Like, can you see? Can you move? He said, because obviously I couldn't see what was happening. I was like huddled on the floor down like this. And she was like, Ten's back leg was so far underneath you. 
and he was like sprawled out on all fours just shaking like frozen stood there had no clue like what happened and she goes he turned around because he was facing the stall door he turned around to look with his right eye which is the one that we don't ever have any issues with and she said when he realized you were down there he snapped his head around and like looked at her and then started shaking again and so she was like I went in there and kind of like moved him over a little bit and obviously I, I started crying because once I realized like okay I'm okay I can talk like I can see everything's all right I started crying <laughs> Because when he hit me, like he like backed up and I went like this and hit into the wall. So this muscle on my neck and then the muscles on the back of my neck were like throbbing in pain. And obviously my face hurt and it got swollen. So um, in the mix of all of that, my contact fell out of my eye. So I couldn't see out of that eye. So I got home. I sprayed liniment all over my neck and back. Um, I iced my face and I put a heating pad around my neck and slept with that. I truthfully am kind of a little shocked at how not bad I felt. I mean, yeah, I was really, really sore and I have a pretty high pain tolerance just in, in general, but my neck was sore. It still kind of hurts to move my neck, but I have, I do have full range of motion, but it's just like, you know, if, if you get in a car accident and your muscles are really stiff and sore, that's kind of what it feels like. But I'm, I'm really surprised that I did not feel worse yesterday. And I didn't, I took a couple of leave, which is like normal for me to take because of my back on a regular basis. I mean, it, it was, it was kind of traumatic. I, never have expected anything like that to happen and I guess I get a little too comfortable sometimes with my horses so this was a very good learning lesson for me especially with 10 and the, the eye issues that are still kind of new and him you know when he has them so from now on I am not doing anything in the stall with him he's going to be in the cross ties and I'm going to be wearing my helmet anytime I tack any of my horses up just because, I mean, I feel very lucky that it was fairly minor based on how hard the impact was. Because when I got thrown into that wall, like it shook the, because they've got the stalls at the NEC, it shook the walls and all the horses were like, <gasps> what happened? So I got, I got launched. I was still laying down there after she kind of moved him out from underneath me. He came over and like really slowly put his head down because I was still on the ground and he like kind of like nudged my shoulder a little bit and he was like, oh my God, did I kill her? <laughs> I'm very curious to talk to the animal communicator and see what was running through his head when that happened. Anyway, it was a, it was a very, very good learning lesson for me and just how no matter who the horse is, no matter what kind of bond you can have with the horse, at the end of the day, they are animals and things like this can happen. So that's why you have to take extra special safety precautions. And I've had him for almost four years now. So nothing like that has ever happened before. So that was, that was pretty scary. I could just tell he felt horrible. He was so sweet when I went after that to go like change his blanket out. And he was like, very quiet very calm normally he's like nibbly he likes to like chew on my stuff but he just was like super cuddly and i think he felt he felt a little bad again it wasn't it wasn't his fault it stuff like this happens it was just an accident so i made sure to go in and pet him and let him know he was good you know and just thankfully he had the like smart horse brain to just stand there once it happened and not move until Becky came in and was like, you're okay, you're okay. Yeah, that was, that was a scary moment. In the morning, I, um, you know, I slept well. I didn't have any issues. I didn't even really have a headache. I had maybe a little bit of a headache just from the muscle strain at the bottom, at the base of the back of my neck. But really, I didn't, 
I didn't feel too bad at all, which was kind of surprising. I made the decision to ride. Um, I tacked him up and all that with my helmet on and we ended up having an awesome day. He was perfect this weekend. He was so good. It's the first time he's come to an Irish Fox show and didn't refuse a fence. I'm just so proud of him. He went in, did everything that I asked. He was celebrating throughout the course. He was celebrating at the end of the course. He was jumping amazing. He was just so good. And we ended up placing first in one of the 8595 classes, third in another 8595 class on Saturday, and then on Sunday, we placed second. So we ended up getting reserve champion for the 8595 division. And on Sunday, we did the jumper classic and he had an amazing course. He was so quick and so good in the jump off and we ended up placing second. So I got some, I won $75 for that class. So that was pretty awesome. I don't think I've ever like won money from a class and it just was so, so cool that it was from him. And then we ended up doing a meter to meter 10 class. They were set pretty soft for the meter 10 stuff. So the majority of it was pretty much just the meter. We ended up getting second in that class. That was probably, and that was our last round of the day. And that was by far our best round of the weekend. I was just on cloud nine, I could have cried. He just, he had so much fun and he was so in tune and listening to me. And it was like our first jumper show using the Hackamore. We've done like the eventing where we've used the Hackamore. And this was our first like actual jumper show that we went to using it and being in the indoor. And he just was so in tune and listening to my body. And I just, I'm, I'm so happy with him. I'm so glad I decided to take him. He just exceeded my expectations and I had so much fun. The crowd was laughing after our jump, like after our courses, because he was celebrating and crow hopping and just, you could just tell how much fun he was having. And it just, it felt really good for him to go out there and be able to do that. And you could really see that he just was enjoying himself and he was just happy, happy to be there and happy to be jumping with me. So it was, it was a great weekend and a good moment. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and kind of do a little little outro and let you know the fun and not so fun time that we had. Yeah, I will uh, see you guys in my next video and uh, be sure if you did like it to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Um, hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I post new videos, which I've been on a posting spree lately, so hopefully I can keep it up but I will see you guys in my next video.